In the third part of this tutorial, we'll start by putting the clay in the center of the potter's wheel like this. First, make sure that the clay is stable and then you can begin to shape it. Here, you can see that it's well centered since it's not moving. Wet your hands to maintain control of the clay. Always keep a bowl of water near you for wetting your hands and clay. To shape the clay, first we need to open the center. To do that, everything must be centered. This step requires practice. Choose the amount of clay you want to use. To center it on the wheel, first press it upward and then downward, like this. This part also requires some practice. Then, use your thumbs to push in toward the center. The wheel's movement, combined with the consistency of the clay, will cause the center to open naturally, like this. This is called opening. Always keep your other fingers on the sides to maintain control of your clay. Now, by pressing one side between the index finger and thumb and maintaining a consistent movement like this, we can turn a thick bowl into a thin pot. This is when you determine the shape of your pot. Here, we'll make a simple pot. The thickness is the same all around and the shape is regular. You can also use this tool, called a rib, to make the outside shape more regular and correct mistakes like this. Use a cloth or sponge to soak up the water that's still inside. This pot is pretty wide, but be careful not to touch the sides or it could break. Now the pot is shaped and ready for the next step. We need to cut it from the base. Be careful when placing your cut. You can use a piece of wood or any other rough material to mark it like this. For a straight cut, use wire to make quick cuts, like this. Mastering this step takes practice, so be patient. Now we will see other examples shot from different angles. <laughs> 